H Mac held X Y Z together long. He tried to hold it together for a long time before people even saw it crumble. Because in the background, I would say it crumbled a little, a little before people started to see it. Most people, are, I would say, maybe the X Y Z fans, um, really have this misconception of trying to say slap made you so why are you doing that or you became this because of that what's up my beautiful people welcome to zenb talks new day new episode new age what's happening guys <laughs> what's up what's up <laughs> i'm so happy to be here yeah like i wasn't really a fan of you know, but then I'm like a fan of the collective new age now. Oh, you're not a fan of what? <laughs> you're not a fan of what? Huh? You're not a fan of what? No, like, like you didn't finish the same day. See, these are guys. I was not going to do this. Okay. that position. But thank you so much, guys, for just agreeing to sit down with me. I'm happy to have you. Yeah, I want this to be a conversation and more mm-hmm. of an interview. Let's share ideas. Let's ask each other questions. I shouldn't be the only one asking questions. Because mm-hmm. yeah. it's like I'm representing a certain group of people, mm-hmm. which is like the fans. So let's throw the questions at me as well. Josie, yeah. what's up, man? What's good? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Yeah, it's a change. Oh, my God, I'm okay. It's a no, it's not a job, no. It's like you're one of the most featured artists now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thankful for that, too. Yeah, yeah. how's it going, though? Going good. Nice. Nice. Mosi, what's up? What's up? Right? <laughs> what's it? What happened to Zen Life? Zen Life. <laughs> well, um, Zen Life uh, was a brand that me and Bouches like tried to push, mm. but there was no paperwork involved in mm. the Yeah. But anyways, we'll, let's, we'll explain more, you know what I mean? I know. I'll explain more. It's also fine. Uh-huh. Yeah, people yeah. know. <laughs> so be back. What's good? What's hoping? Chilling, man. Yeah. Um, I never really had the opportunity to, to, to pass by condolences. Thank so you. this is like the perfect time. Yeah. But how, how are you coping up? Trying my best. Mm. Yeah. I see your lady on the music. That's the only way, man. It's yeah. the only therapy I got. People think you have you're like your verse on mm-hmm. it's like one of the most emotional verses it I came think. from the heart so i i wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they think so yeah how's the acting going it's going great it's going great Are you killing your Joshua role? I, well, I was actually away for like a really long time after mm-hmm. everything happened but i just got back i think i'm only like a couple days now i've been shooting for like three days now mm-hmm. so i was away for two months mm-hmm. yeah I needed to be in the right headspace. You can't be on camera if you are dealing with your own things. Exactly. Yeah. True. So how do you manage to separate you and Joshua? I mean, it's never it's never been hard. It's really I mean, Joshua is a character from a movie. I don't really that character is is based on on the writers. Mm. So it's it's not much for me to. I mean, I never really have to think about the character. All mm. I have to do is show up at work. I'm given the script, then I know what I have to say, what I have to do. Mm. But B Mac is that's that's the artist. So mm. I think it's pretty easy to separate the two. Uh, yeah. On the other hand, my girl is killing it. <laughs> Tell me yeah. any show where you want to DJ is the Irish guy. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> How are you? Second time was sitting down, no? Second time. How's it going? The mixing. How did you learn how to DJ? Did I ask you that last time? You didn't. Actually, ah, uh, I'd say <laughs> mostly off of YouTube. Are you YouTube, yes. What? Yeah. Would you say um, there's any female DJ that inspires you in Zambia? In Zambia? There's a lot of amazing female DJs in Zambia, but I wouldn't say I get my inspiration from DJs from here. Ah, yes. So give me two of your, 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 your inspirations. Outside. Yes. Ah, uh, Miss Prue. Ah, okay. And DJ Copy. Ah, dope. yes. <laughs> Elisha Long. You know, I've got a brother <laughs> called Elisha. So when I read your name, is Elisha. But then I go, no, it's like the Elisha Long. What's good? What's good, mama? What's popping? Mm, music is popping. Mm. You know, I did, 
I did see your rise. He caught me by surprise. Yeah. I'm sure he took a lot by storm. Then I said, boom, there's this guy. What one, one, one. Hey, well, like, oh, where did you come from? Pardon? Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> <But on. laughs> <laughs> well, let's check it out. Hmm. Let's check it out when you in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, before you age. Mm, no, I've been around. They've just been pushing, uh, mm. and uh, it's it's time now. Would you say uh, mother time helped you to like kind of like establish establish yourself in the industry? There's a lot, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that have that, that has pushed me to, to reach this point mm. before mother time. Ah. And maybe mother time is just an, it was just one of those stepping stones as well. Mm. Where did you start? Um. You just started way back, like 2015, would I, I, would, I would say that. Mm-hmm. I've been pushing and then, find that, like I've been saying, like, my breakthrough is when I, when I met my manager, H. Max, so like, mm-hmm. yeah, the actual opportunity started. Ah, dope. Yeah. On the other hand, flex. Yeah, yeah. I see you're <laughs> flexing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. That's how but it when? Is. Ah, you're also one artist that, mm. like personally, you've, mm-hmm. you've earned my trust oh, in yeah? terms of hip hop. Uh huh. From that, yeah. my uncle listens to you a lot. Yeah, my uncle is a huge child. fan. He always on the wheelchair. Oh, making couples. Exactly. Never come back to my father and look at you. Yeah. On the other hand, H Mike is like one person that has always believed in you, regardless yeah, of what the fans say. Yeah, too much. How did you meet him? H. First time I met him was at the auditions, but I remember that day we didn't like uh, have a conversation mm. or anything. And then I remember I called him like two days after the audition. Yeah, then when I called him, I was asking him about studio sessions because I just wanted to record. And I remember back in the day, he kept telling me, ah, the person you should be seeing is copy. For studio and whatever you want, because on a check up in the end, one right? Yeah, until then. And I'm a check of flow, as you see. Speaking of COVID, why isn't he part of us, guys? Why isn't he doing age? Guy, I'm working in the area. Where are you? So, would you love him to be part of a new age? Of course. Of course, most <laughs> definitely. Of course. It's perfect. <laughs> but. And then, uh, why do you think it's a perfect time to give us your album? Uh, right now, like I've 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 stayed first of all when I met H Mike in the first place, by the they were so easy. But I'm a person that we are going to age, moving to a new life, young. Yeah. So I I am a year young, say a bit, uh, up to now. Yeah, I think it's high time. I remember people would uh, complain most of the times that there's no music, so. When I came here at New Age, the first thing I wanted was to just make why, why, why wasn't there music before? Why was there? Because at that time, uh, I had just, uh, I won the auditions, but as in the music, I didn't have like experience. But it's not like the still releasing music. Yeah, all. but it's not like, you know what I mean? It's not like I've got an EP at X. Oh, you only have singles? Yeah, just singles. Ah, so my name is my father pushing. Let me come with the name New Age. I want someone to explain to me, like, what what is New Age, really? Mm. New Age was is is basically something that came up of because with X Y Z, we had a I would say we had phases of different artists. If you remember, the first phase of artists was you know there was Mbachi and then Johnny C, mm. and then. Um, the second phase, I would say we had Bobby and then we had Steve-O and then so with the coming of these guys, I'm assuming maybe I'm, I'm not exactly 100% on this because mm-hmm. I'm not the one that came up with the name, mm-hmm. but I'm assuming this was to usher in the new guys without having their brand affected with the older guys. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and it's basically the younger guys, it's Josie, it's Brown, you know what I mean, it's Mosin. It's, it's the younger, new generation. So new age came off of, you know, age's brand of new artists that he signed on to XYZ. Mm. Plus the new age is artists that H Max signed on to XYZ, as opposed to the other older guys that were signed by the then management. I you signed by, by Slavdi. No, I actually wasn't signed by Slavdi. Who signed? <laughs> Funny enough. Oh. Well, here's the thing. I, 
because we slap and I, we had two relationships. There was the professional relationship and the friendship. Okay. So me and him were friends, but then the actual guy that, you know, asked for me to be on XYZ was H Mac. He he saw a future in me. So he actually was the one telling Slap, yo man, we need this guy on the team. Mm. You know what I mean? And because Slap and I, like I said, we had the friendship and then the professional relationship. Mm. So on the professional side, maybe he didn't quite think that my sound was, you know, vibing with the current state. Mm. So H was the guy convincing him that we need this guy on the team. So mm. so yeah. Mostly who signed? H man. Josie? H to the Mizzle. Are you for real? Yeah. You won the competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. May I got signed to um, an audition. Uh, yeah, I got signed to an audition. So it was just a verbal agreement. Collective version, no? Yeah, so to say. Nah, nigga, it was on paper. Elisha, no, on the part of me, if I call you Elisha, please. Elisha, no, who signed you? I already mentioned, you know, I told you my opportunity, the one who bought me was H, H, but I said that. H. That's why you're killing it. H uh. is for hire. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people actually think this is a prank. People think XYZ is kind of like rebranding to mm. new age and you're trying to gain your own fans. Then now you say, no, guys, we're actually joking. It's still X. No, it's not. That's not. New age yeah, that would be a good prank. Though. I know, it's a nice prank. New age is reality. New age, new age is a record label. New age is a legal record label. Uh, now, why is everybody leaving? Come on now, Josie. It all goes back to who, who's your manager. Who's what? Who's your manager? <laughs> I feel like if everyone had like a personal choice in the end, so yeah. if everyone yeah. wanted to follow one person, then it was up to um, each and everyone on their own. No. Yeah, it wasn't like we ganged up together. So like, okay. No, let's, let's no. Leave. Everyone yeah. had a choice to be like, are we gonna stay? Are we gonna leave? What are we doing? Yeah. Okay, okay so okay, can we can uh, I can I can say this? Um, apparently we all come from different backgrounds and uh, different struggles and. Where, wherever we come from, there's there's an inspiration why we're doing why why I'm doing this. Mm. I'm not the reason why she chose to be at New. She would have said it XYZ. I did it on my own personal terms. So my personal terms is that I've got a manager that I believe in, mm. that I feel has uh, has uh, proper meaning for my career. Mm. Understand? So I can stay somewhere where I feel. I I don't have a relationship with the city management. So if my management moves, I need to move with where it is. If I don't, unless if I break, I break my relationship with my manager, mm. then I can uh, I can say okay, let me find another direction. So my direction and my vision has been with the city manager on my own personal terms. I don't know about the rest of the guys. Mm. So we meet at a certain point, yeah. at, at a certain point where they also choose the city manager for for their own personal reasons. Mm. So I'm sure. Before your management left your former record label, I'm sure you guys could notice things crumbling, you know, here and there. Why do you think H decided to make that move? Uh, the whole, okay, the whole situation about life and when you're, you're pursuing something, it can be a collective, yeah, mm-hmm. but then everybody has like that dream they have, you know. Mm-hmm. So I feel H Mac wanted to do his thing, you know, it was time for him to. Just do something that is thought, okay, I, I can do this. Mm. You know, I could take myself this way, I could take other people about this way. Mm. So I feel it's it's a thing of following what he felt he could do. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What is the new age bringing to the table? A lot. A lot. Come it's on. Nice. <laughs> people even talking. <laughs> new age, new yeah. age. So tell us, what I guess being on the table? What's a lot? I mean, um, uh, we've already like given the fans the content. You know? Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. I see you guys are getting hooked and busy. Mm-hmm. There's still more to come. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Uh, a lot. Yeah. Basically, yeah. basically, it's new, new sound, new, new flavor of music, man. Mm. Like people get tired, easily get tired of the music that's been there. So also under a certain challenge mm. of trying to make something new that's not been there. So in different directions. <coughs> we're not even clashing at the same at, at the end of the day. 
we all, we have our own thing going on and sometimes when we, we uh when we meet we make something we blend in nicely so basically something new new sound new everything it's a new dawn come on it's new, it's new. yeah and you know what I mean? It's like when people see you doing good, that's when they start digging out false information. Mm-hmm. So there's um, <laughs> some girl, Kenya girl, who's been trading for her leaked notes on social media. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> you guys look alike. Mm-hmm. Is that really you? I have had like, like, is there. Come on now. It is, but I've had a lot of people send like these things to me, but. I'll, I'll have to decline this one. Mm. It's no, no. I think the, the <coughs> resemblance is there, but definitely I'll, 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 I'll clean game. No. <laughs> that no. wasn't you. What should we expect at, 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 at um, your, 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 your upcoming events, man? Definitely gonna kill it. I mean, after all this drama that has been happening, definitely coming back stronger and yeah. How many guys handling the backlash? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you are faint-hearted, yeah. it won't be easy. But basically, just doing the work and just keeping busy, doing what you know and what you love. For some reason, I, I, I kind of, I sympathize with, with the, with the guys. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if you had something nice on your team and then you no longer have it, you are, you're expected to be upset. So I kind of understand mm-hmm. it, but it's one of those things where. If, I feel like it will eventually it will just phase out because we're we're always gonna do what we love doing. Music is what brings all of us here together. Yeah, so yeah. we're never gonna stop making music. And and I think with time, and to be honest, I think from the moment that everything happened to this point, mm. I've already started to see a change. Like people are already understanding. Look, man, these guys just wanted, you know, just wanted their their their, their time to do what they love doing. So mm. this is this is just music. Mm, and I see the wrong on social media, but like at the end of the day, there's no offense to X Y Z. There's there's there's, there's there's no conflict around. It's, it's just so there's like, no animosity. You no. and Bobby can be the same. Yeah, you and yeah. Slab can hang out. There's, there's no, 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 there's, no there's, there's, there's no. So I don't know why people <laughs> like it's just come on, guys. I've said, like I've said, this is a legal uh, record label. Mm. It's a company on its own. It's got nothing to do with having a personal. Things, you know what I'm trying to say? It's just a company's own. Mm-hmm. So, like, so we're just working with them. So, we just want to work. <laughs> just working, man. So, now, you, you, you mentioned mm-hmm. the same as just a verbal agreement. Did any of you sign a contract with you? No, no, no. Listen, that part, I was, I, I thought you were talking about the day of the audition. Okay. You know what I mean? Because mm. you don't expect me to sign the contract just there and there. Exactly. That's what I mean, so don't get me wrong. So you, but New Age, mm-hmm. I signed with h Mark. h is the one contract. that signed. Yeah, I signed the contract. I'm a signed artist. Yeah. Everybody New Age artist. Yeah. 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 So you, you produce almost 90%, 80% of his album, yeah? Yeah. Should we expect uh, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, no, no. It's just you. It's just you. It's just you. It's just you. It's just me. It's you. It's just you. It's just you. It's just you. Okay, but can you produce for you know, Slap, Finia, and Josie, and Oz, like, do all my suka. Pass me the directors, please. Producing for Slap. Yeah. That's not a problem. Yeah. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, work is work. True. Yeah. True. So, like, I don't know H, man. I just want to learn a lot from you guys before I go. Mm-hmm. What are some of the things that you've learned from him and just being signed under new age? About being just a short period of time. First things first, mm. loyalty. Loyalty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think um, on my part, I've, I've learned a lot actually. Um, because if, if people make me like years back, mm. I don't think they'll actually look at me the same. Because yeah, uh, I learned, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also learned how to beat. But like, the thing of like bringing out like my potential. No, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you can also see your growth as fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I've learned as well. 
Why do you have more featured hits than your own single? Um, it's a you know every every uh, every organization has a system, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't I wouldn't like I mean the the whole this yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so every organization has a system, mm-hmm. and then the thing is in that system I'm also getting taught like how to get better. Mm-hmm. People might think oh I think I'm under that's yeah. like for me. People don't know you're a good producer, man. Tell them. Hey. Tell us some of the hits that you produce, some of the hits that you produce. Hey. Do we do do we all write our own songs here? Yeah. You do mm, right? completely. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the <laughs> era where you can have man, some. Who can it be, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Some of the songs that you produce here. Mostly, I I I I I think on the production side, I've I've been more like working with. Uh, background artist mm-hmm. yeah but then like he's a producer like Zua oh it's like me featuring me oh yeah what's your title? Ish. Ish I've changed the title <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> greetings <laughs> from the most that this is Josie from the wild the one that keeps making noise mm-hmm. and then there's greetings from the most high but but the whole production thing for now is is like on standstill for now mm-hmm. because uh we, we all have a role to play. I like that. Yeah, like I wanna like if I say me can go better with the mm. singing part. Okay, so right. so if my um, sing plays some keys now and many a poker vogue, not that that is a key now and keys. Yeah, 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 but what kind of person are you? Um, yeah, I sing with them. It's a chill for studio. Video shoots or going in or diapo or going just that work. Yeah, it's just yeah. Interesting. Meet my mom's. Interesting. Mom. Yeah. Someone told me at so H Makama Saiga, please type <laughs> type of sound Jenna Makonka, but he's got his own type of yeah, maybe he. Do you get this a lot? You sound like PJ to some extent, bro. I do. <laughs> oh, it's just me again now, but do you never do that? Yeah, 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 um, with age, mm. what he sees is what most people can see, and you get to see it after he proves that he, you have to see it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, like, <laughs> it's uh, for me, it's been a work in progress. Like, I had certain habits mm-hmm. of uh, of music, and from there, I had to let certain habits go mm. and just be authentic, you know what I mean? So, what's very hard for Zambian musicians is being authentic. Having a signature. If somebody from Malawi is listening to your song, mm-hmm. they, they should be able to tell that that's a rich singer. Mm. They shouldn't have to start asking who's that, mm. who's this. So for me, I wouldn't even say it's PG because I, 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 it's, I think it's the first time me. Ah, I'm gonna play your song, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's a blessing, though. No, it's, it's no offense. Yeah. I, I, I love PJ. What's that song? Please do that for me. Maybe they will come to with his face. For real, people love that face. Really? It's natural. Come on, Vima. Yeah, Jama, this is only the last thing we're on in Vela in me. Now, my Disney is a paper, but they live on in Passane. Kumutima vabaka vilonda sindi ni chika venga Nika esa kukukunda wabwela na kuyenda Umoyo suri izi mukalale Umoyo suri izi mukalale Umoyo suri izi mukalale Umoyo suri izi mukalale my life is a roller coaster full of tries and tribulations. There's a lot I keep hidden inside, but it's time for revelations. Who would have thought I'd lose the love of my life at such a young age when I was never ready for that? And now I'm left with this pain in my heart, trouble in my soul. Now I'm all alone traveling this road. Man, it's a cold world, and it left my heart frosty. If it wasn't for the two boys, I'd have probably lost it. But I guess I just have to keep it pushing through the pain. And to appreciate the sun, we gotta endure the rain. We have to accept change. 
Cause nothing stays the same. This music, my only therapy that's keeping me sane. Mm. And to my baby up in heaven, say hi to my pops. Hey, and what else? else? <laughs> 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 what else? 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 What I wouldn't go back to Zen life. The thing is, well, you know, H, H has always been like a mentor to me, you know what I mean? Even before everything else, I've always like linked up with him. And, yeah. So he offered me a really good deal and then I chose to, to work with him. Yeah. Nice. Bina, what is it that you know now you wish you knew back then? That's a really, really dope question. I know. <laughs> One thing I know now, I wish I knew back then. Yes, especially having to undergo, you know, from eggs, um, age, life. You know, fun, the fun with me, I'm, I'm probably going to say this. Um, I'm one of those people that easily trust. And then it's like something could be right in front of my face. And I'll make every excuse to try and act like that thing is not there until it gets to a point where it's like, look, man, the situation is like this. Mm. I've always kind of thought, I've always kind of trusted people and, 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 well, I've trusted people I shouldn't have trusted. Let me just say that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Michael? What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you know now you wish you then? Um, let's say, I wish I knew how to invest in a brand before. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I've learned, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> okay, like for me, I, I think I, I, I would be, I used to be naive. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So I would think like the way one would smile at me, mm -hmm. I, I would think, oh, this person's cool. Mm -hmm. ah. you know, so I wish I knew that that's how to be people. Yeah. Cause yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wish, I wish I knew that it's not everybody that's like happy with what you're doing, mm. and that they they wouldn't want you to like get a piece of the cake. Nice. But you would you would look like oh I'm working I'm working mm. okay cool oh, I'm smiling today oh, she's smiling today mm. oh, okay cool I'm working I'm working but they're going and you just you're just doing the same spot. I wish I knew. Nice. Yeah. You guys are going to perform as new age for the very first time, am I right or wrong? Right. Yeah. Right. What yeah. should we expect as fans? Fire. <laughs> like how is it what going to be that? Are you guys doing share a set or what's happening? If you, if you say it, then we're gonna kill the fans. Ah. I know, yeah, you it's supposed just to be a surprise. Just okay. I will, I will take that. How do you want how do you guys want me to introduce you on stage? Tell me. Mm. You know, um, the greatest move, the greatest movement to ever happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That. Sounds, that sounds yeah. cool. Nice. I want to know um, what the greatest sacrifice that Edge um, and maybe your previous record label did for you guys that you can still remember up until now. As in, on a personal tip for Yeah, okay. it could be a personal tip because if people were close, man, though you're funny, if it, yeah. You, do you know what? Let me let me just say something, and, uh, yes. and I think we need to like cut to the chase. Yes. X X was actually H Mac held X Y Z together long. He tried to hold it together for a long time before people even saw it crumble, because in the background I would say it crumbled a little, a little before people started to see it. H tried his best to hold the whole thing together. And, and maybe these are like the, some lessons that we all need to learn. And even other guys from XYZ need to have learned. Um, how am I going to put this, man? <laughs> 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 
So as far as like when you when you speak of sacrifices, right? Yeah. I will tell you this for a fact that Kobe and H are the two guys that I've seen sacrifice a lot for more than you would think that this was the brand that they came up with themselves. And that's why it's only right that I think H decided to do his own thing because he tried to hold the thing together even when it wasn't holding, you know what I mean? And so I feel like the moment he decided to leave, that's when people saw all the cracks, but all of that was there even before that pe people saw it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. Do you? I do. No, I do. I was just trying to process everything. Like, oh, I'm talking. Yeah. Sounds like H is a big dope guy. I need to be around him all the time. Yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's why we say Kobe is the coolest. Who's the coolest? But, but here's the thing again. Like, mm -hmm. like, and I wouldn't want to come out again. Like, you know, there's nothing nice that came out of X. Mm. You know, I mean, this is the thing to be, especially like personally, I, I, I knew Slab many, many, many years ago. I remember going to his first studio in, um, in McKinney. Okay. And uh, that's one of the guys, that's one of the biggest hustlers you ever meet mm -hmm. in the game. I'll tell you that for a fact, because I mean, we, we, all, we all came from nothing, but dude also came from nothing. And to see him achieve what he managed to achieve, that's worth of admiration from from everybody. You know what I mean? But again, as a human being, you're not always going to be 100% perfect. And sometimes maybe your imperfections are, are just not things that people are willing to, 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 you know, to work along with, so to speak. You know, like personally, him being a friend, you would assume that, especially when you call each other friends, if it was like strictly a professional relationship, I would understand everything that happened. I'll be like, okay, it's cool. You know, it's professional, it's business. Mm. But when you call each other friends and you've been through certain things and you really believe you're friends and brothers, mm. certain things begin to happen and you're kind of like, mm, if he was really my friend, I think he would have handled this like this. Mm. Or you know what I mean? Like if, if your friend is not introducing you to new opportunities and you know, these are the things that your parents would tell you sometimes. You know, <laughs> friendship is not by force. I love and what you're going. Friendship is also should be like beneficial. Okay. If I'm linking up with you every day and we are friends, but we are not, our friendship is not taking us anywhere, then why are we friends? You know what I mean? So sometimes you begin to think that friendship should mean certain things and then you just notice that it doesn't, it doesn't seem to add up. Most of us thought it was because of the KMP move. That's why you guys decided to keep the same graph. The KMP move is, I think, is what now everybody else saw. Maybe that was like the, the hammer. That was like the nail on the head. You know what I mean? But like I said, the cracks were there from before that. But I asked, so what, was the, what, what were those cracks that you guys were noticing against? Here's the thing, man. I wish H was actually here as well to speak because I wouldn't like to speak on his behalf. No, it's... You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, some of the things that you saw, like, uh, I think that was it, right? Like I said before, man, opportunities. Uh, opportunities should be there for everybody. You know what I mean? But when you begin to hold certain opportunities to yourself, then there's a problem there. If, and I always t tell, say this example, man. Why, why do artists, why did artists always come to XYZ and leave? And somehow, whenever each artist leaves, yeah. the backlash is always on them. Like, they always, I never like that part that, you know, people come, they have certain expectations and then when they get into the house and notice oh man this is not what i thought it was and they decide to leave yeah. and they end up getting the backlash mm. and then no one defends them and say you know like like when h and kobe left mm. the most decent pr i expected from slapping them was to say you know hey h kobe thank you for your contribution to xyz wishing you all the best wherever you guys are going mm. They sacrificed years and years on the label. None of that ever came through. They left and people acted like they were nothing. And even when they got the backlash from the people, I would have expected them to protect them and say, hey guys, don't give them this backlash. You know, these guys have done a lot for this label. You know, just let them go and do their thing. None of that came as well. That was in bad taste. I didn't feel that was okay. You know, not after everything that people have done. You get what I mean? Because... And everybody else, and this is the other thing, right? When a lot of us went to XYZ, XYZ was not as big as it is 
There wasn't like there was money flying around. I would like to believe this is something that we all built. Mm -hmm. We all had a role to play somewhere. We all contributed something. So for people to act like, oh, you guys were made by XYZ and now you're like, we weren't made. We made the thing together. So why should people get backlash and no one should protect us and act like, you know, we're betrayers or whatever it is they want to say. Like, that's the part I'm not feeling. The the, the, The fact that people have been quiet throughout this whole backlash. That's not mm-hmm. cool. And also a statement um, that um, you, Slap Deep has to say he's no longer part of XYZ. Did that affect you guys in any way? Now that's <laughs> the thing. You see, at the time, at the time, if, if, if you guys remember correctly, I there's a time I retired. <laughs> yes, what happened to your dad? Why did you... So you see, the backlash was so much that I couldn't say I've left XYZ. I had to say I've left music. Just to not have to get all that yappy, yappy, yappy stuff. I just decided to say I've left music. But really, I still had the passion for music. But I knew that if I say I've left XYZ, people are going to be insulting me the next day. And no one was going to defend me. So to def- to protect myself, I had to say that. Are you serious? Yeah. So now, what gave you the courage now to just say, you know what, I've left XYZ? I never still say that. I left music and then I joined New Age. That's been my movement. You know what I mean? Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Do you back? Are we expecting any album? <laughs> of course. Like I mean, somebody somewhere in this house is holding on to like 50 of my records that I left at a record see. label, but then that's, that's cool. I started from scratch. So expect a project pretty soon. I've been, I've, I've been, I've buried myself. I've been working, man, day and night. Mm. You know, with the help of everybody here, I've managed to record so many records. So it's just we're just really finalizing things in the background. But people should be able to have a project pretty soon. Dope. And, and you know what? Like one thing I want to uh, clarify is, um, uh, most people, I would say, maybe the X Y Z fans. Mm-hmm. Um, really have this misconception of trying to say slap made you so why are you doing that or you became this because of that yeah. let me tell you this as an artist if you love me you want Delisha Long love Delisha Long don't love me because of Slap D I'm my own brand I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm my own brand you know what I mean I, I, I know with all due respect I love Slap D I'm sure I'm, I'm, I've worked with Slap more, more than anybody on songs more than anybody here, you understand? Mm. And I can't take away that he's very, he's one of my favorite artists. Mm. But you shouldn't love me. You should, I shouldn't be, you shouldn't be my fan because of Slap D. Mm-hmm. Love me because you 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 got something from what I do. Mm. You understand? Love me because there's a dish alone. Even if there's a backlash with any anything with XYZ, stick to me. That's being a real fan, because you can't be a fan you, I, you can't be my fan because you love me because of another artist. Mm. No. But you guys didn't know the risk of joining the beginning to say Pardon? you didn't know the risks of joining XYZ. Uh, you know, it's, it's something it's we have to teach. At the same time, again, what, what I want to say, this is something that's going to go out uh. publicly. I want fans to learn in Zambia that love an artist individually. Don't love him because of another person. You understand? This, is, this, is, this, this thing has been going on from even other artists from other camps. It's going on. You love an artist because of you love you love an artist because of Mac Two. So you, if that person fights with Mac Two, you won't love you, you. You you know what I'm trying to say? You won't like you won't like that artist because they fought with Mac Two. You understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say? So like me as Alicia Long, on my own. You understand? Even if I, I have a conflict with, with that artist that you knew me from, let it be. Love me. You understand? Accept me for what I am. That's all. So this thing of artists, uh, this uh, this thing of uh, fans going, no, you are made because of X Y Z. No, I was made because God gave me a talent. Mm. No human being gave me this. What I do, I get it, it came from God. You understand? I get it. So I want to clear this. Yeah. yeah. Because and just, I've been a just of that. yeah, and I'm just to add on, you know, we are not even bitter mm. uh, towards X Y Z or mm. anything like that. You know mm. what I mean? We started a new life. For me personally, back when I was at XYZ, Mm -hmm. by the time I was getting signed, I would say the person who signed me is Bobby East. Okay. You know what I mean? But I don't remember being in the studio with him, not even one day. Why? You guys didn't have a relationship? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know the real problem. I, I was hoping maybe one day me and him can sit and just, you know, talk about what's the problem. You know what I mean? I've oh. tried to get myself close to it. And you know what? Because the truth is, if it <laughs> wasn't for a H back, me, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Are you serious? Your CEO wasn't doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So we are not bitter, you know what I mean? Um I would say, you know, when it comes to Facebook, like me, most of my captions for my pictures are like uh from songs, you know what I mean? And so they are a certain a certain caption I'll put in. I would see maybe fifty fans telling me I'm insulting slap. Mm. Or who they put me on? Yeah, me. I don't have anything against that. But uh, when the time came for me to move forward, and I knew what was going to work for me, mm-hmm. I knew it wasn't going to work because the person that looked out for me throughout wasn't there anymore. Mm. Let mm. me get it from you guys. Do you think we're going to get the day out? Yes. Be honest. Uh, the truth is, uh, me right now. We are not sure because we are under new age. Yeah. So you guys knew what was happening when we were chat, new age, X, Y, Z, new age. So you people knew to say, yeah, we've been knowing. <laughs> you <what? laughs> no, 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 that, that's what we told you. This is like, new age was like an era in X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay. There was Johnny C, then there was the other ones, then new yeah, age, this year. Okay. You know what so I mean? So you people knew what was happening. No, but that's not the name, no. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it, but saying back then you knew. Josie, okay, guys. <laughs> By the way, your album is coming out yeah. next, 30th of this month. Mm-hmm. What are your, um, not, I don't want to say last words, but what, what, what do you have to say to those people that say, H my keeps dragging this guy, don't force us to like this guy, but I think you're really dope, man. Yeah, well, the truth is, you know, I remember there was a post that age had put up at one point where I was telling people, you know, just maybe give me a mm. chance for them to just listen to what they're yes. doing, you know what I mean? Uh, I think a lot of people, especially I've seen some comments where they were saying no, XYZ signs a lot of people from material, or some say I look like Bobby, so no, it wasn't even that. You know what I mean? Like I even just to get signed, I had I had to like work for it. I remember that day at the auditions, Bobby was against me because he was saying I was sounding like chef. But I was just rapping in Bemba, you know what I mean? I'm Bemba. Yeah, so uh, I think people should just, you know, take time to just listen to my stuff. I've got a story that I'm trying to tell on Flex. They can listen to it and from there they decide they should decide and just judge maybe if H Rack is just pushing me for nothing mm-hmm. or he's uh had something that he thinks when it goes out there mm-hmm. one or two people will relate to and they will know who Browen is and what he's been about from the jump. Mm-hmm. So uh, interesting guys. What else do you have to say to you people out there? As new age because we are looking forward to a lot of people have coming with the bank. As new age we are hungry. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Clearly. We want the cake. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, all we can say is just music is what we do best. So we, we've we got a whole lot of music for the people and, and they should just expect to, you know, to be taken on a journey. And that's the other thing. New Age is not like a, we're not a group. Yeah. It's a record label and everybody has an individual brand. Mm, I like you that. Know what I mean? Nice point. Yeah, so so they should just look out for each one of us, man. We have a lot to offer. Yeah. Nice, I love yeah, it. guys. New age is a good people and not a group mm-hmm. because once we start seeing people leaving, people say, oh, I'm in the group. What happened? That's yes. what my group yams yeah. up. Yeah, you get <laughs> that's one. That's yes. one. Once, once, once you respond, out. yeah, okay. I'm so happy to be here. Still enjoying my time. I was enjoying it in some water. Remember to hydrate. This is probably for me. Sharing the same stage with Fireboy. Are you guys excited? Are you guys? Talking to him in terms of features. <laughs> What's happening there? Yeah, you said everything's happening. Everything's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excited and yeah. Mm. Okay. 
Can we play a game? Sure. It's called One Must Go. What exactly. sounds like a dope game? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you two names of different artists. Should you guys have to pick one? Has to be if you're doing the chance to say one, mm-hmm. who would you say? That's mm-hmm. nice. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's like a dangerous. Game. <laughs> <laughs> we love this. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how do we do it? Do we play individually or? Individually. Yeah. Okay, I'll start with Josie. Why is it starting with me? <laughs> what do you mean? Start with this <laughs> one. Start with this guy. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. One last go. Chevy Bobies. Chevy Bobies, one must go. Exactly. Bobby must go. Bobby must go. Elisha, Elisha no. Next no, give the trick. One must go. Mm. <laughs> Both should go. <laughs> like breaking the rules, right? <laughs> 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 Is never gonna give me a hook now. Katano is like, "Kateka kuli Jose." Oh, interesting. Thank you so much, you know. I will stop saying thank you because this is an exclusive, as you know, new record label. I'm going to sit down with me, Kaidi, and I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Okay, social media yes. handles, please, real quick. At Brown, I'm a big boy. That's for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay. Mm, Alicia Long, uh, Long Capital Leaders, that's Facebook page. Twitter is Alicia Baby. Instagram, Alicia Long mm-hmm. underscore ZM. Uh, DJ underscore Reese underscore again for Instagram and Facebook, DJ mm. Reese as well as Twitter. Okay. Makuza B Mac Mazuki, that's on my Facebook. Mazuki has a double Z and the B Mac is B M A K, not B M A R K. Not B Mark. B Mac. You know what? Here's the funny thing. I thought putting my full name there was going to help because my name is Makuza and the Mac. Is from Makuza, B M A K, but does it help? Doesn't Anyways, help. that's Facebook and now uh, Facebook. That's uh, B Mac, B M A K underscore forty seven. Okay. Mosin Malik Z M. Mosin Malik. Yeah. Uh, and let me spell it for you guys. Most people, <laughs> most people get it wrong. Right? So M O H S I N M A L I K Z M. That's as simple as that. Mm. 
Yeah, um, Facebook is Josie Z, not Josie. Just Josie. <laughs> <laughs> but Josie, J O Z I Z M. Facebook, Instagram, it's Olua Josie. Olua. Yeah, and then Twitter is Josie Ten. Okay. I'm going to ask one question. Mm-hmm. Why did you guys change your YouTube uh, name channel? It's no longer, you know. Surprisingly, it's also is that also part of H B. The Bible yeah. says, "Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar." And so, yeah. Did he really delete the, the, the videos or maybe he just did something? No, try to get this back for an interview in that stream. No, we are just not. It's a company that is an engineering part of that. Of that mm, uh, so, move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay, laughs> <yeah. laughs> when you get the chance, ask them. If we had to answer like on the surface, mm. you you will meet the age, obviously, like you said, you want to meet him. Mm. So you will meet him, but if you had to answer like on the surface, normally in life, if if I if if this person manages to change something, mm-hmm. meaning they had a very big role to play mm-hmm. for them to take that. So you know what TV go? Tina will get the person. I I actually didn't write it. Yeah. Yeah, I sung the first book, but the big guy behind the writing. Who's that? Brown. Oh, it was Brown. Oh, sorry, Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so now we might see one million views. Doctor said that I can wake up. No, but then the other thing I'm assuming, I mean, f- first of all, the, the common sense is for H to be able to delete it, mm. it means that he's the admin of that page, right? Mm. And then if he keeps those videos and then he's the CEO of New Age Entertainment, mm-hmm. how is the CEO of New Age Entertainment having XYZ content on his page? That's opening yourself up to 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 you know i mean you could be sued or something you know you could have legal battles so i don't think it's okay for him to hold on to xyz material yeah. while he's no longer part of the xyz mm-hmm. organization okay. thank you so much my beautiful people please remember to share like subscribe and also comment i've been your girl in the end the people's bay but this people have something to say uh, uh, yeah, yeah. October. Flex is out there. Watch out for it. Brown. Let's yeah. do it. First life experience. Flex. <laughs> 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 <laughs>